Hey, what's up, Rattlers? So right now, I'm in southern Israel, and well, here's the story. So 2,500 years ago, the Nabataeans were here. They were here before the Romans and before the Byzantines, and they built wells all over this part of the desert. Well, those wells still exist to this day, and all the really cool reptiles in this area that crawl around at night, they fall in those wells and they get stuck. So I'm here with my friends, David and Itai, and we're gonna grab a rope ladder, we're gonna climb down these 2,500-year-old wells and see what kind of awesome critters are down there. This is going to be an awesome reptile adventure. I'm Dave Kaufman and I am obsessed with reptiles and I have been since I was nine years old. 25 years later I made a trilogy of award-winning movies about them. Now my life is all about touring the world in search of them in wild places and checking out some of the most awesome breeding facilities and reptile expos while I'm at it. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting, and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit ZillaRules.com. so it's a little harder to get around these desert roads than we thought. We kind of took this one road and it completely stopped up here on this cliff, so we're not really sure how we're gonna get back down, but look at that, it goes straight down. That's the road we wanna be on, but it goes straight down. And if you move forward, we can't get down this way, but oh well, we'll make it work. This is all part of the adventure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there goes the bumper. All right, success. We're back on the road. Look at this, the first well. And what we have to do is we have to lower a huge rope ladder to get down there. This is gonna be really interesting. How deep do you think it is? Five or six meters. And uh, the rope ladder is what, three meters? <laughs> Just throw this in. All right, don't let go of that. <laughs> I hear the birds. See ya. Bye, Dave. See you in China. This is the, the water hole. You can see it's about three meters high. The depth of this well is uh, about seven meters. We have plenty of uh, black stink bugs here. It's like crawling, crawling with them. You can find them everywhere under the rocks. That's a cockroach. Mm -hmm. That's a sand cockroach. I try to release this uh, beautiful uh, Nebo Hieroticus scorpion that was trapped here as well. Come on, cutie. We just try to release you. So what happens is, is that the snakes and the lizards in this area, of course, are nocturnal. It's a desert and there's moisture at the bottom of these wells and of course they're attracted to that so they fall in the wells and once they're down there well they can't get up and we're finding a lot of dead snakes down there which is really really suckful but you know what can you do oh, look at four, that. four four day old magus so this is one of my lifelong dreams is to find an egyptian black cobra here in israel and we find a dead one down the well <laughs> Oh, full of maggots and grossness. 
Oh, it's so sad. I don't want to film this yeah, anymore. That's heartbreaking. Is that, oh, know. and then yeah, Mr. Gecko was hiding in there. Where? Under your little bag. Oh, that is so sad. That's not the way I wanted to find a black Egyptian cobra. See the head. Oh, uh, yeah. Beautiful yeah. cobra head. And beautiful maggots. Mm hmm. Ugh, gross. All right. <laughs> Ick. <laughs> All right, so we also just saved the scorpion. Check this guy out. It's called the Nebo. Nebo hieroticus. Nebo hieroticus. For all you scorpion fanatics out there. Hey, hey, hey. Biggest scorpion in Israel. Play nice in there. So this is the biggest scorpion in Israel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at that bad boy. It gets huge. Bigger than this one? Yeah. Wow. Can you stick your finger in there for a comparison? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we just saved a really huge scorpion, a bunch of geckos, a dead black desert cobra. God, that just breaks my heart. Oh, well, we got a couple more wells here. Maybe we'll find a live one, but... Uh, anyway, we're at well number two. I'm gonna stay on the surface here, and Itai has gone down, and whatever is down there that needs saving, He's gonna send up in a bucket and we're gonna then release them up here. Right, let's see what comes up here. Black head out, call it to we me. We got a snake. Oh, look at that. So this is what's called a Palestinian skookery snake. This one's actually a big one and they're not very big snakes as you can see and they've got this kind of mustard yellow background with a really cool black head. And these snakes are insect eaters. They eat arthropods out here and their natural history is very similar to the blackhead snakes that we have in the United States. They eat insects and arthropods. They're nocturnal. They're very secretive. They're very rarely ever seen out here just like the blackhead snakes in the United States. But what we're gonna do with him right now is we're gonna go find some cracks in the soil where he can dig himself in there, get out of this midday sun, and then tonight he's going to go out and he's going to hunt just like he did every night, and he's going to live a long, happy life as long as he stays the hell out of those wells. <laughs> Look at this. Snails in the middle of the desert. They're clinging to any plant matter they can find to suck the moisture out. You guys are in the middle of a desert. Go somewhere a little bit more, well, moist. You're weird. You're weird snails. All right, Rattlers, so that was an amazing day walking around the desert, going down into these ancient wells and finding some really cool critters. But right now, the sun is set obviously, and we had to drive two and a half hours to some other wells, and these are more modern wells. They're only about 20 to 30 years old, but they're about 10 meters deep, which is about 30 feet, and animals fall into these wells just as much as they do back at the other location. So we're gonna go around with our lights here, and we're gonna see what's in the bottom of these wells as well, as well. Bottom of these wells as well. The monitor noise you're yeah, down there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Baranus. Hi, hi, hi. Baranus There he is. Big one. Big whopper. Ho, 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 ho. In the middle. But, but I won't go down. Look at the cockroaches. There. <laughs> All right, we got to get him out of there, though. No, I, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm Are you? We too, can't too leave the poor guy down there. He's moving, yeah. Too many cockroaches, man. He's probably no. It's too, it's too much for me. Really? <laughs> too many cockroaches. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall down. Monitors, very dangerous. You go first. All right, Itai has gone down the well to get the monitor. How's the weather down there? Yeah. Millions you know? of cockroaches. All right, we're bringing the monitor up in the bucket here. There we go. All right. Woo. This thing died. Got the monitor out of the deep down well. Oh, let's let's not forget a tie down there. You all right? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. All right, rattlers. This is why I came to Israel. Look at this beautiful dude. This is a desert monitor. And for a lot of people that know a lot about herps. They really maybe not have heard so much about the desert monitor. They hear about water monitors all the time and crocodile monitors and other types of monitors. The desert monitor is one of those monitor species that really not a lot of people know about. And let me tell you something, guys. This is what the reptile adventures are all about. 
coming out here to southern Israel, to the deserts of Israel, and climbing down 2,500-year-old wells and finding all the cool critters, and then coming out to this location at night and climbing down more modern wells that are, again, about 30 feet deep to find these guys at the bottom and rescue them out of their well, what could be certain death. If we left these guys down there, sure, there's a lot of cockroaches and things down there that this guy can eat, but eventually he's gonna perish down there. So getting this guy out of that 30-foot well, and now we're about to release him, whew, man, it just simply doesn't get better than this. Desert monitor lizards here in southern Israel. And look at him, he is just super chill. He's not trying to, like, escape. He's not trying to bite. He's not clawing my arm open like other monitors that i found around the world. He's just perfectly, totally chill and just sitting right here in my arms. So I'm going to take a couple of photos with him, and then we're going to release him back into the wild, and hopefully he doesn't fall down those wells again. Ah, oh, a desert monitor here in Israel. Again, Rattlers, this is what the Reptile Adventures is all about. I love history, and that's why I have a degree in history. And that's why today was just so awesome, because I got to combine my love of history, my love of adventure, and my love of herps all in one day. I want to hear from you guys. Would you guys be brave enough to go down into those wells and find all these really cool critters? Comment below and let me know. And the adventures in Israel are just beginning here. So if you want to see more about my adventures here in Israel, hit that subscribe button. And when you do, hit that bell so you never miss an upload. Pound that like button and share this video. Also check out Patreon link in the description below. So anyway, I've got to get some sleep because tomorrow we go deeper into the desert here in Israel. So until then, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession and rattle on.